What up, it's your boy NWP, and today we're going to be taking a look at the patch 6.2 update in Fortnite, known as Fort Nightmares, with a limited time event and a whole bunch of other content, including me running around with my boy Ghost Ninja. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Now, between the video and the box, you'll find a description area if you want to enter the giveaway for $50 in your favorite gaming currency. Then do that by clicking the link in the description. Okay, so anyways, yeah, I'm running around with my boy Ghost Ninja. Got a little game here. As you can see, uh, we, we were goofing around bad, and uh, the fact that we got a W is actually ridiculous. So, as you can see here, I'm the evil winged uh, Care Bear from Hell with a pitchfork and stuff like that. It's just wild, okay? But anyways, Fort Nightmares patch 6.2. Let's just get into the meat of it for Battle Royal, and the, the big thing is... There's some challenges that are going to be added to the game, and these challenges are going to uh, basically unlock different cosmetic items that are free and don't have anything to do with the battle pass. Uh, it looks to be, I don't, don't quote me 100% on this yet, but it does look to be a male calamity skin and, uh, you know, some things around the, uh, you know, evil cowboy Van Helsing nature. But let's get into the direct changes today that the first things you're going to see when you log in and... Uh, you know, actually, no, you know what? There was a really dope trailer that uh, hopefully you guys got to see. And I guess what I can do is I'll play the trailer here for a second and we'll take a look at it and just, you know, we'll like live react, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, like, there is uh, some stuff that's coming to the game specifically for Halloween that is really awesome. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So yeah, check this out though. This is the trailer right here. So the, the battle bus doesn't really look changed. It would have been cool if they did something to make the battle bus dope. Okay, so we got Van Helsing over here looking down at the, you know, well, I, what the hell was that? A lightning strike? A fucking, what, I, what, put the battle bus down. We got a battle bus crashed out here, messed up, looking like dog crap, okay. All right, climb up out of there, Van Helsing. Well, it's like a scene from the movie Priest. You guys seen that movie? It's a great movie. Go watch. Okay, yeah, look, you're like Cuban powered. You ain't normal no more. All right, here we go. Now, this is what this is some stuff we'll talk about in just a second, right there. As you can see, he's got a glider. That's one of the unlocks I know 100% uh, is that train glider right there. That is the like the final culmination of all of the unlocks, I think. So, yeah. Make sure you're doing your challenges if you enjoy Fortnite, and uh, yeah. So back to the actual update, and the first thing is cube fragments spawn cube monsters. Drop in and discover the different types. S large cube fragments are found near corrupted areas of the island. Small cube fragments are created randomly throughout the match. Cube fiends, brutes, and fragments all have a chance to drop loot. Now this is in Battle Royal. This is in the limited time event Fortnite mirrors. Okay, so like, this is an this is an LTM, right? It's an LTE. So there you go. Check that out and, you know, keep an eye on that. No. Defeating a cube fiend or brute will grant a small amount of shield. That's pretty awesome. Fiend hunter crossbow added. Fortnite limited time weapon. Fortnite mare limited time weapon. Available in epic variant. 40 base damage. 1.8 shots per second. 4x damage against fiends. Uh, 7 arrows magazine size on limited ammo can be found from floor loot chests and vending machines. So pick those up to get your shields and stuff like that. that obviously, really good idea. Playground has also added some stuff. Uh, spiky Stadium's back uh, with a brand new respawn system and vending machines to provide all the necessary grenades. Uh, new Porta grenades are now available in vending machines at the southern edge of Loot Lake. The Porta, what does that say? The Porta Challenge set includes a building challenge, obstacle course, and firing range mini games. There's four of each type. So there you go. You got some bunch of stuff in there, and there's like a pirate ship and stuff like that. So go check it out in there if you like the playground. Uh, the six shooter's been added, uh, which comes in uncommon, rare, and epic variants. 34, 36, and 38 damage. Shoot from the hip for faster fire rate or trade rate of fire for precision by aiming down the sight. Uses medium ammo. Can be found in floor loot, chests, and vending machines. The rocket launcher is now the pumpkin rocket launcher. So you got a pumpkin head rocket launcher. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, let's see. Hand cannon balance changes. Increased damage to structures. Epic from 79 to 150. Legendary, 83 to 157. Increased minimum long range body shot damage from 30 to 50. Legendary from 31 to 52. Epic, uh, increased minimum long range headshot from 60 to 100 for Epic and 62 to 104 for Legendary. Stink bomb, increased chance to find from floor loot by 0.2%. And increased chance to find from chest by 0.17%. 1.7%. Sorry about that. The glider redeploy functionality that's available in the soaring limited time modes can now be used in all game modes. Help us test this feature and let us know what you think so we can now just redeploy gliders. That is awesome in my opinion without even testing it. When in midair greater than 10 meters up, press and jump to deploy your glider. That's awesome because there's no reason to just fall to your death all the time. Uh, weapons now reload upon respawn modes, and it keeps players in inventory. Okay, so some pretty cool stuff. Some storm changes. Wait time for phase three has been reduced from 120 to 90 seconds. Wait time for phase five has been reduced from 70 to 50 seconds. Late game moving circles will now immediately begin traveling to a new location after it reaches its current destination. Storm's maximum damage has been reduced 10 to 8. Players will now take two damage per second while in the down but not out state instead of two damage every two seconds. Damn. Maximum time and down but not out state reduced from 100 seconds to 50 seconds if no friendly player attempts to revive you. Dang, I don't know about that one. Removing ability to rocket ride quad launcher rockets. Oh, come on, man. Fixes streaming issues on low-end iOS devices. Well, who the hell cares about low-end iOS devices? Like, low-end iOS devices, isn't that like directly Apple turning a high-end iOS device into a low-end iOS device by making a crappy item? Like in a crappy software update to make you buy new Apple products? That's what I think that is. That's bullshit. Which leads me into this next thing that we're going to talk about real quick. And that's the fact that this is now also a sale going on right now for uh, Fortnite. So if you guys are in here and you made it this far into the video, do not buy the 50% off Save the World sale when you know it's going to be free to play soon enough. You're literally feeding them when they're making excuses about why they can't release it. The UI is not friendly enough to release it for free. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. The most screwed up UIs and games are typically on free to play games. And this is no different, you know, like, like I've watched the UI change myself and I'm a late uh, follower here in Fortnite. But, uh, you know, that's ridiculous to me and it's absolutely outrageous. So, yeah, there's been a bunch of changes, obviously, here in Fortnite. You, you're going to need to check it out. It looks like it could be quite fun with some of the changes, especially the flying around uh, on your gliders, which I don't know if 10 meters is, is small enough. I think it needs to be, like, you're going to have to be up in a crazy build fight, you know. Like, there still should be, like, a, an area of where you can fall to your death without getting your glider, but there should also be, like, okay, this is ridiculously too high. I shouldn't be... Uh, killed by some random guy shooting out the, the bottom of the base that me and this other person are fighting building in i completely agree with that so yeah you can watch me here fail this right here okay i do hit the shot but uh completely fail on getting the kill here i suck so yeah you guys can see that i suck I got my six kills but uh ghost ninja carried me with his nine and uh it was a pretty awesome game in the end so I kind of actually like just get eliminated here and you will actually get to see that but um, it's actually a really good play like to be honest with you like the play at the end of this game that he makes for the win is absolutely absurd and I give him props on uh, being you know a really uh, maybe not the best player in the world uh, but definitely a very um, strategic player thinking all the time so yeah, let's see how the changes affect him. Make sure you check my boy Ghost Ninja out. You know, he streams on YouTube quite a bit, has a, a good following, and is actually a really cool guy. So, you know, make sure you check him out if you get a chance. You know, he helped me out big time making this video. So, you know, like I don't play as often as a lot of people play uh, when it comes to this. I've been playing a lot of COD, and don't think that this means that I'm only going to do Fortnite videos, uh, but I've been doing a lot of COD, and I really am enjoying uh, you know, COD lately, Black Ops 4 is a great game, and as you can see there, that is one nasty finish. So yeah, if you want to check out some of my other videos, guys, go ahead and check them out. They'll pop up right here, and I'd much appreciate it. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, but I am going to get up out of your hair. Have a good one.